Hi students, welcome. Now we are discussing about in projection of solids come section of solid topic. Clear? So first one, a hexagonal prism of side of base 35 mm and axis length 55 mm rest with its base on HP such that two of the vertical surfaces are perpendicular to VP. It's cut by a plane inclined at 50 degree to the HP and perpendicular to VP and passing through the point on the axis at a distance 15 mm from the top. Draw the front view, sectional top view and true shape of the section. Clear? So now we go for solution. First you draw x, y reference. So now the solid is hexagonal prism. So the hexagonal prism, the two difference are there. So one is for the two faces are in hexagonal, the two faces are perpendicular to VP, the hexagon is there, you want me. Or otherwise here parallel to VP, the hexagon you made it clear, that's why. So out of these two cases, for example here, there is a prism, therefore two rectangular faces are, or otherwise two vertical faces are parallel to VP. But if you are considering the hexagon is this one, this position, the two vertical faces are perpendicular to VP. Therefore, this is the correct one as per the given condition. Therefore, we draw the hexagon clear. The hexagon size is base 35. So, here 35, 35. This is hexagon clear. So, all sides are 35, 35. Clear. And next one, it's a solid no, so therefore compulsory for plain or solid whatever it may be, compulsory we need center. Clear. After getting that center, you draw the projection lines. Clear. So before that, we assign that letters A, B, C, D, E and F. For example, let us consider the prism base hexagon on top also hexagon. Therefore, the base we consider A, B, C, D. Similarly, for top we consider number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Clear. Then you draw the projection line from each and every point. So, for example, E. A1 F6 so that is four points clear it's nothing but two in one projection line next to 2B center 5E it is another projection line it is 3C 4D it is also two in one projection line so now we draw the front view so the, now the base is resting on HP therefore the base completely lies on xy now the external prism sides are 35 and axis 55 mm long so this is 55 mm height the axis is 55 mm long no so this is 55 mm so in front view the 1a edge 6f edge is coincide hidden 2b edge is visible clear 2b edge is visible and center for example, top O1, bottom O2, O1 to O2 center points line joining that one axis. So the axis is coincide and 5E, the rear end edge, that is hidden, that also coincide. So finally, the 2B visible edge only is clear. Next, 3C visible edge and 4D invisible edge hidden. So 3C visible, thick continuous and 4D hidden line, both are coincide, finally it appears visible. So therefore, the base we are consider a b c d alphabets a dash here b dash this point is c dash similarly b dash comma sorry c dash comma d dash b dash comma e dash and a and f dash similarly in top 1 2 3 4 faces no so this one is 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 3 comma 4 dash 2 comma 5 dash and 1 comma 6 dash so this is the prism 
क्लियर एंड नेक्स्ट थिंग नाउ अप टू बेस्ड ऑन द प्रॉब्लम द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ सॉलिड इज ओवर नाउ वी गो फॉर सेक्शन सो द कंडीशन दे गिवन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट्स कट बाय अ प्लेन इंक्लाइंड एट 50 डिग्री टू एच पी क्लियर सो इट कट बाय अ प्लेन इट्स इंक्लाइंड 50 डिग्री टू एच पी एंड परपेंडिकुलर टू वी पी एंड पासिंग थ्रू अ पॉइंट ऑन द एक्सिस सो वेर इज द एक्सिस इन दिस केस हियर so here the axis line also is coincide clear in that center and next one is at a distance 15 from the top so the total height is 55 in this case the axis from top 15 mm clear so let us consider here so the distance is 15 so passing through this point a cutting plane is cut that comb clear so the angle is 55 degree clear so let us consider this is the 55 degree line listen for example this is the without dimension it's a rough diagram so let us consider it's passing through maybe 3 4 corner or otherwise below that or otherwise Here the horizontal surface, whatever it may be. Here the uh, this vertical edge, its cut means here two vertical edges are there, C D and four, three C and four D. Therefore we get two cutting points. In case its cut the horizontal surface means two to three one cutting point and four to five one more cutting point. Clear. So based on that one, actually we try to do the exact dimension. Okay, but we know the procedure so the, the cutting plane is 50 degree to hp and perpendicular to vp and passing through 15 mm from top on the axis that is the condition so let us consider for example here below 3 4 point okay let us consider so this one is from top to here the cut and remove this component clear so we are saying that let us what are that here yeah. so here two edges are there 1a 6f therefore here two cutting points here two edges are there that is 2b one edge and 5e one edge next here 3c and 4d so two edges are there so therefore this one is p dash number 1 next number 2 edge q dash number 3 edge r dash similarly number 4 edge s dash next number 5 t dash and next number 6 edge u dash clear so p as per that uh, numbers for number 1 edge 2 3 4 5 6 4 that for p q r s t u clear this is one so after cut and removed the top portion is removed that means you draw the two h pencil thin the balance element the retaining part so this one only dark by h pencil so now cut and remove means while seeing in top view so the etching surface it comes complete hexagon inside i understand so therefore we know that 45 degree conditions you draw the hatching lines 45 degree each line 45 degree and also 2 mm or 3 mm gap equal equidistance clear so this one is top view so this is front view this is sectional top view clear so this one is sectional top view this one is front view in this problem draw the front view sectional top view and true shape clear already we know that the cutting plane is parallel to principal plane means the true shape and the top, uh, sectional top view both are same but now because of first term but now the cutting plane is inclined to hp clear that is any inclined to any principal plane either it is hp or vp whatever it may be we get 
true shape is separate cross sectional area because that is truncated so therefore we draw the perpendicular line of the cutting lines okay so from p and u perpendicular line qt perpendicular line from rs perpendicular line clear then you draw the so here cutting plane is there no so same one more line parallel to that sits away from component for our reference okay so both lines are parallel so this one is let us consider x1 y1 understand right now we select the points clear we select the points from x y to 1 okay because this is pqrs no we, we mention the points here here exactly p here exactly q or s t u all the points is exactly coins around that one clear so therefore from x y to p distance same distance okay from p dash line from x1 y1 similar case from x y to q distance same distance for because this one x y to q distance same from q dash line from x1 y1 understand if x y to p distance 100 percent equal to x y to r distance similarly x y to s equal to x y to u and x y to q is the farthest and x y to t it is the nearest one clear therefore same measure it the dimension here and here equal from here and there this is p point true shape capital letter next same from our line r next x y to q for test equal to x1 y1 to q clear and next thing x y to s distance equal to x y to u distance so that distance you mention it here x y to this distance yes here to here u understand and finally from x y to t distance is coincide on that t dash line from x1 over here so this is t so now this is p q r s t u p yeah so now the line joining p to q q to r r to s s to t u then now this is the true shape clear and then we know that inside the true shape we draw the hatching lines that is 45 degree with x1 y1 clear so 45 degree Forty-five degree and two mm or three mm gap. So this one. So this is called true shape. So as per our given problem, front view, sectional top view, and true shape is over. Thank you.